Mumusawansi Kalalal, Yahawa Bashem Yashai, Bashem Kodash. The one as today, as an apostles of Grimmel Stone and Saltations, our brothers pushing this work in our sincerity and in truth. I'm the brother Yahaya, here again with another lesson um, based upon this article that is written in the Gleaner, which is a, a popular news medium within Jamaica. Now, the title of the article states that the government um, is to implement national payment system, which is the current government, the JLP. Jamaica Labour Party um, and run by the um, Prime Minister Andrew Olness, right? So now, based on what the article is saying, just as a brief summary, the article is saying that it's basically going to make access to bank account more seamless, right? Because it's trying to develop a system where it is mainly digital. And this is this is this is the, the process that they are using. They are using a process of gradualism, right? So you can see where the COVID nineteen is basically being used as a scapegoat to promote the idea of becoming more digital. When you go down into the article, the articles have, have some very significant points. I would encourage anyone to basically read the entire article to get a full grasp of what is happening within the current um, JLP administration because they are working in tandem with the, 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 the United Nations, right? NATO, the EU, right? The UN. They are working in tandem with those bodies because those are the global bodies which are passing all of the agenda to happen on a global scale. Now, I want to point out some key points that I have noted within the article. Right. So now, on paragraph, the second paragraph of the article says that the government will, will first ensure that most persons have a bank account. Right. So to do this, the government said that it will pursue the use of low-tier, know-your-customer bank account to increase the number of people with functional accounts. So now, know-your-customer is actually a policy within every bank. They call it the KYC. So it's actually a policy within every bank that the, the tellers and the bank is supposed to know their customer. The reason for this is for the prevention of money laundering and so forth, certain illegal activities in relation to money. So what the, what the government is suggesting is that if they use a low-tier, know-your-customer um, um, policy to basically increase the amount of bank accounts um, that is going to be open. So with the know your customer policy, the bank has to actually know your name, your TRN, your address, and other your, your, your place of work, and so forth. He has to know certain pertinent information about you. So Andrew Olness is, is basically basically suggesting that all of these informations be not, not be, to not be collected, right? So that he can give ease of access to the platform, the digital platform, that he is planning to bring about within the economy, right? When you go down, he also said that new laws will be passed according to Olness, which will mandate that banks be more transparent with customers and fees and rates. And it said, we will introduce a national digital payment platform that will allow payments to be made seamlessly productively, efficiently, and with greater financial inclusion and security, the Prime Minister asserted, right? So now you can see that all of these things is gearing to a, to a national digital currency, right? And we also see that these things are, in, are, these things are working in relation to the, to the Central Bank of Jamaica, right? So we, how do we see that? We see that happening through the CBDC, Right, central bank digital currency, and right now pilot programs are, are and studies are being put in place to actually address the regulation of a digital currency within Jamaica and other countries around the world. So we actually see where this thing is going. We are going into a cashless phase, and I can re I remember I remember a time because I remember a time um about I think it was three or two and a half years ago. I was about to get into a bus, the Jamaica Urban Transit Company, 
that's that's the the bus line right that's the national bus line for jamaica right i was about to get into that bus and the, the driver at the time told me that i cannot come in get into the bus because i didn't have what they call um a transit pass right which is a car that you put money on and you use it on the bus so i, I couldn't pay cash i had to use that card and one of the branding of the bus is that they are actually becoming cashless right i also remember a good while back now around call it five or so years back man i was in i was in the states and i was basically buying some buying some clothes and i couldn't buy the clothes because no there was discounts on the clothes but i couldn't actually get the discount because the discount was being offered to those who have a card right so i couldn't pay cash to get the discount i had to actually use a card to get this discount and this reminds me of the scripture in the book of revelations chapter 13 right which i'm going to get so this is the book of revelation Revelation chapter 13 Verse 16 and it says and he caused it all both small and great rich and poor Free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads Now the word there for cause it is goes back to the Greek word poheo which means it prepares Right and one of the way of preparing people is to get them accustomed to a particular way of things right so right now we're seeing where the, the the current society is moving cashless they're getting people accustomed to the idea of using um a digital means of purchasing things right rather than having cash because cash isn't as traceable as um digital transaction we're seeing where they are putting the blockchain technology into 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 place as well so we see all of these components coming together for this digital current digital system in the article, it also mentioned that the, that the, the government will make Wi-Fi within public places um, free to access, right? So they are going to promote the increase of free Wi-Fi within pro public places, right? And we all see this is leading to one thing, right? The, implement, the implementation of the RFID chip, right? We're going to jump to the, the book of Daniel chapter 5. It's like a Daniel chapter 8. All right, Daniel chapter 8, verse 25, which says that what? It says, And true is policy, also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand, and he shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many. So true in policies, him laws, them that he's going to pass. Right? He shall cause craft, trickery, to prosper in his hand. Right? So, but you to him agenda, him using him policies, to basically cause the full control of individuals within the economy or within society, right? And say, and by peace shall destroy many. When you read the article, it says that he wants, he wants it to become very proficient, efficient, seamless to do business in Jamaica, to have an account and to make transactions online. He wants that to be a possibility, right? So by peace shall destroy many by ease of things and that is how the so-called white man basically put the put the whole entire global um society under his control because of the promotion of ease right he shall also stand up against the prince of princes but he shall be broken without hand right so at the end of the day we know that these things that the so-called white man is promoting right through his new world order agenda, through the development of the digital currency and wanting to implement and chip and implement the RFID chip, we know that all of these things will not be fruitful. It will be the end of the so called white man empire, man. You understand? It will be the end of the so called white man empire. So when we see these things coming together, we actually know that we are in the time of the end. We are closer, closer and closer to the time of the end. So with that I want to say Kalalal, Yahawaba Shemi Shai. My shame, my car, the one is the Ellis and a pastor of Grimmel Stone. And salutations, all brothers pushing this work in our sincerity and in truth. Shalom.